welcome everyone to the fourth movement of the Wu style Tai Chi. So we're going to start off where we left off with number three. So left leg is forward, left hand brush the left knee, right hand is pushing at the center of the body. From here, vertical the right hand, bend the right knee, shift the weight back, bring up the right fingers as well as the left toes straighten the body. Connect the left hand over top of the right. So that all should look somewhat familiar from the last time, last movements. Palm faces down. Now this is where it's different. So when you shift the body 45 degrees, your arms are moving at the same time with the body. They don't part here or separate. Step with the left foot. Shift the weight to the left leg. Now shift the body, upper body and hips. 90 degrees to the left, and your fingers should be about eyebrow level here. Bend the right knee and step with the right foot to the beside the left. Straighten the body and bring the hands in front. So the left fingers are pointing up, the right palm is facing up underneath the left hand. Point the left hand down, so the fingers are pointing down. Bring the right hand up towards about the chest level. Bend the knees, pick up the left heel, step with the left heel, shift the body 45 degrees to your right, step with the left foot, shift the weight to the left leg. And you want the body to be off on an angle here, just slight. Bring up the left hand up the right, underneath the right arm, and shift the body to the left. And then now the Shift the body to the right, and the right hand is moving to the right as well. From here, bend the right knee, shift the weight back, lift the left foot up, and the left hand fingers are pointing up. Bring the right hand over top of the left. Bring now the right hand so that the fingers are pointing down, and slide up the left heel. Shift to the left, 45 degrees. Step with the left, and then bring the weight to the left leg. Bend the right knee, straighten the body. Step with the right foot, step uh, with the heel. Step with the foot now, and then shift the weight to the right leg. So again, notice that you're on a tilt here. Bring both arms up so that the right palm is uh, and the left palm are facing each other. And then part the hands and shifting the body to the front. And that's the end of movement number four.